Do they get on, your son and your daughter? Are they friends? Um, they do, they do. They do a lot of fighting as well. <laughs> <laughs> Eva's kids were born and bred in Britain. English is their first language. Her son supports Arsenal. But next month, they're leaving for Poland for good. Eva and her husband are tired of not knowing what Brexit means for them. We don't know. We still don't know. What's that been like for you to have that uncertainty hanging over you? as a parent as well? Well, you don't know. Uh, you need some certainty. You, know, you need to know what's going to happen. You can't just, you know, hang on and uh, not, not be sure. Eva's been teaching in British schools for over a decade. She's waited till this summer for Theresa May to tell her she can stay. As soon as she said that Brexit means Brexit, she should crack on on her job and give us some answers. Well, here she is, back in Brussels, this time without a majority, but promising to get those answers for people like Eva sometime soon. We've wanted it to be one of the early issues that were, was considered in the negotiations. Uh, that is now the case. That work is starting. We will be setting out how we propose to ensure that EU citizens living in the UK have their rights protected in the United Kingdom. Can Thank you. you. And that uncertainty is being felt on the ground. The farmers' union warning today they're short of workers by almost a fifth. One person who advises EU migrants told us it's one type of worker who's going home. Working class people, people who would have children at schools, people who would have businesses or uh, careers. And because they have to consider economic impact of Brexit, they have to consider legal uh, impact, uh, the, the, the closeness or openness of borders. And the Eva came to work, but she's leaving frustrated. The life she's built, the skills she's gained, she's taking back. Dominic Reynolds, 5 News.